everybody. One more um, initial value problem today. This one is dy over dx equals 6e to the 2x. And the initial condition is y of 0 equals 10. OK. So as always with initial value problems, the first thing we do is take the integral of the function. So integral of 6e to the 2x dx, and we always add dx because it's just simply part of integral notation. This little squiggly and the dx always go together. Um, so it doesn't really have anything to do with how we're going to how we're going to deal with the, the mathematics part of it, but we add it there. Um, okay, so 60 to the 2x. The first thing we do, and um, this applies every time that you have a constant in in the integral, um, because you, you can say that this 6 and this e to the 2x right here are multiplied together. When these are multiplied together, um, you can bring the 6 out in front of the integral so that you don't have to deal with it when you take the integral. If you had, um, if you had e to the 2x plus 6, and that was your integral, you can't bring this out in front. You can't separate these terms because you have the plus sign operator here. Um, it's only when you have one term like this and, and it's, these are multiplied together um, can you bring it out front. So what that's going to look like is 6 times the integral of e to the 2x dx. And now we don't have to deal with the 6. All we have to do is take the integral of e to the 2x. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, e, when, we're, when, we're, when we're taking the integral of um, anything involving e, e is kind of um, something with its own rules. So these are just something that you'll have to memorize or, or write down on your cheat sheet for your test or whatever. Um, but when we take the integral, of e to the 2x, um, normally, like if we had, uh, if we had, you know, x to the 3, the integral of x to the 3 would be 1 fourth x to the 4. Um, we, you know, we would add 1 to the exponent and then we'd divide the coefficient by, by the new exponent and that would be the answer. Um, this, since we have um, e to the 2x, this um, exponent you might think would be a little bit difficult to deal with. When in fact, all that it is, and this is something that, um, that you can memorize, um, we have, we'll have 6 out in front, remember, because we're not dealing with it. So then we just draw a big parenthesis, and then we take the integral. Um, you only have to deal with this constant here, and the x just stays. So it's this constant, 2, is going to act in the same way um, that this exponent does here when we're taking... Um, an integral of like a simple term like this. So in the same way um, that we have, you know, the one fourth out in front here, we're going to divide this term by uh, the the coefficient on the x here. So this is going to look like one half e to the two x. We don't add one to um, the coefficient here on the x term. It it just stays um, as a two this never changes at all. All we need to do is divide this whole term by, um, by this number right here. So hence we've got this term over 2, 1 half e to the 2x, and that's just a rule. Um, so we've done that. We, we, took, um, we took the integral. That's all we need to do. And then, um, and then we add c, as always, because it's a constant. Um, and this, again, equals y whenever you have an initial value problem and you've, you've taken the integral, you've solved um, for the function here, you can just go ahead and say equals y. The reason we do that is so that we have a place to plug in both of these numbers. This, we're going to plug in 0 for x, and we're going to plug in 10 for y. You have to have a place to put this 10, so you always need a y out here. So we're going to say 10 equals, and then um, 6 times 1 half, and then we're plugging in 0 for x, so e to the 2 times 0 plus c. OK, so now all we need to do is simplify. Um, the first thing that we'll do, we have 10 equals 6 
times one half um, e. Let's in fact let's um let's actually do this. Um, skip one step here. We're going to do six times one half. We'll do that first. Um, and six times one half is of course three, or six divided by two, three, and then e uh, to the zero plus c. Um, anything raised to zero as its exponent is always one. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be x to the one, it could be the square root of 2x plus 1 to the zero, um, it could be e to the zero, anything to the zero is simply one. So we have 10 equals 3 times 1 plus c, which is 10 equals 3 plus c. So c equals, we'll subtract 3 from both sides, this will cancel and we'll get 7 over here on this side. Um, so c equals 7. So, um, our final answer, let's go ahead and um, erase this section over here. Our final answer, we're going to plug C, um, our answer for C, back into this equation right here and, um, and just simplify for our final answer. So, I'm going to go ahead and say Y equals, um, and we have 6 times 1 half, or 6 divided by 2, 3, so 3e three e to the 2x, and then um, we have plus c, so we're going to go ahead and say plus 7. And we've done all the simplification we can. We plugged in c using our initial condition, so this is our final answer.